something that sounds crazy, but we're about to show you why it's not. Don't close that book on Iowa. Yep. The Hawkeyes played the Badgers in the late game on Thursday evening, and there was a tribute earlier. Bronson Koenig, how riled up would he be with the Thundercloud singers there in the pregame? Halfway through the first half, Ethan Happ kicks it out to Koenig, who's open for three. Wisconsin's up by seven. That was the largest lead. But then Nick Bayer, Nicholas Bayer, started to hit him from deep. Now, Nicholas Bayer is Mr. Intangible, but one of the things he gives you is the ability to knock down perimeter jump shots. He does a little bit of everything really well, but when he makes shots, everything gets easier for his teammates. 14 points on the day for Bayer. At halftime, Iowa's up 32 to 25. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Wisconsin now has the lead by two. Jordan Hill with the steal on Isaiah Moss. And he finishes with two hands, part of a 10 to two run. The Badgers now lead by four. Under five minutes left, still close. Hayes to Showalter. Too much room for him. They're up by nine, but Iowa does not slow down. Under two minutes, they played great defense forced tons of turnovers. Ahmad Wagner was steal of the inbounds and then a difficult shot in the paint. Iowa's now down one. 18 seconds left, the Hawkeyes down one. Peter Jock, your leading scorer, what a bad game, misses the shot, but look at the second chance opportunity. The freshman, Jordan Bohannon with the three and the Hawkeyes lead by two. The Badgers inbound the ball nine seconds ago. Koenig, the man you want to take the shot, no, he'll miss it, but look at the Badgers after the ball is rebounded. Two and a half seconds, and they don't do anything. Iowa gets the board, runs out the clock, and gets the win. 59 to 57 is your final score. The Hawkeyes end the game on a seven to nothing run. Bohan with that game winning three, also aided by the fact that Wisconsin still cannot hit free throws. They went five of 14 from the line. They've gone nine of 26 the last two games combined. The hero of the day was the youngster Bohannon and Jay Wilson talked to him afterwards. Iowa wins at the call center. Jordan Bohannon hits the big shot. Take us through those last few seconds. Yeah, we, we just stay calm and collected the entire game. Uh, we, we came up big time on the defensive end that last minute. Bear was huge in that press. We kept our composure, and uh, we got a shot, and then we were able to get second chance points. And Cordell did a great job finding me. I was able to knock it down, so that was huge. And I can't give credit enough for my teammates. The Bohannon name is big in Madison. What's it like to come to Madison? And, and take over like this? It's surreal. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been here traveling night on weeknights, watching Thanks my brothers play. Please try um, I've been dreaming moments safety. like this my entire life. A lot of people overlooked me my entire life. They thought I was too small, too uh, slow enough to play uh, in Big Ten. Um, Coach McCaffrey was able to give me an opportunity that I've been dreaming of my entire life. Uh, and I just kept my composure throughout this entire process. And we're, we're, we're playing really good basketball right now.